presentation. Okay, and then we can just delete these first. And then we're going to start with this shape. We're going to get a square and fill it in. And then we're going to lock it. Actually, we're going to change colors. We're going to make it green. Um, I mean, it can be any color, but we can just start with green. And then lock it. And you right mouse click. To, to I right, yeah. I, yeah, yeah right mouse click. Yeah, make sure click. you tell them every command you're doing. Right mouse click, unlock, right mouse click, lock. We're going to keep it locked. So, um, the next step is to get a rounded rectangle. And that's where you can basically change colors, um, add a text. So, we're going to add, um, we're going to do brief it dance. So, for this one, we can do. Kind of like a light purple. Oh, pull that over onto here so they can see what you're doing. Okay, so yeah, with the color fill, you can just, you know, get whatever color you want. And then for the text, you can say brief it dance for this one. Change the font size, and then we're going to have to get now the how logo. How did you move that over? Okay, so I double clicked, double clicked here, um, like that, and then I basically moved, moved it over by um, clicking on the, or tapping on the space bar. And then backspace, space bar, backspace, space bar. There you go. Yeah, just remember, you got to explain to them everything you're doing because they can't see what you're doing. Okay. Um, all right, we're going to make this bold. And we usually use chalkboard. So I like that. Um, oh, let's, yeah, let's make this purple. My favorite color. Yeah, maybe something like really dark. Yeah, okay, so we're going to get the logo. Okay, so I'm going to have to minimize these windows and get the logo here. And so I'm dragging, they can see this, right? Mm -hmm. I'm dragging the logo from the desktop, um, and it's a PNG file, so you might ha you might have to get a PNG file um, for your logo. And then I um, hit Command C. That's to copy it. Copy the logo, and then. Right here, I'm going to do Command B to paste it onto this slide. And I can make this bigger or smaller. I mean, it can be any size. And you know what? It looks like, Bree, you could have it overlap that, too, and it would look okay. Overlap? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. That'd be cool. Yeah. Kind of like it with the hat overlapped. Yeah. Um, yeah. There you go. So we can make this bigger, I guess. Does that look okay? I think it looks cool. Okay. Um, so the tricky part now is the animation. So you go to animate. 
and now you got the box selected now so you're doing animation on the, the box first right so okay. i have the box selected and then we're going to start with the build in effect we're going to add it we're going to do move in so that it can move in mm -hmm. um i mean it can be any effect but um i like that move in yeah. move in and then build out and we're still on the box mm -hmm. so oh they should move be out. Isn't that it? Move yeah out. yeah move out and then the text actually no that's the that would be within the box so we don't have so to the do the text goes with it yeah okay yeah and then the logo we got to do that separately so we got to move it in Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the same thing here, move it out. That's cool. So just a preview of what's happening. Oh. Um, I'm going to hit the next arrow. But we don't see the logo. <laughs> I have to fix that. But yeah, that's what's happening. Okay. That's the animation. But we're going to do build order so we're going to start with number one that's going to be briefitdance.com to move in first mm -hmm. uh, that's order one and then the logo to move in second that's to move in second and then to move out that's going to be briefitdance.com first mm -hmm. to move out and then the logo to move in second but actually they're going to move in together let's see if that happens well that's saying move out there those are the two move out blocks. together yeah. move okay. out together with build three that's going to move with build three hopefully okay and so let's see what's happening yeah so let's see if that worked. Play. Hit the arrow key. I'm clicking um, the index arrow key and then they move out together. Cool. And you could ma make them move out separately if you wanted to. Um, yes. <clears throat> you could do a lot of things actually. Build order. You can change it up. Okay, so on the move out, how do you make those move out separately? So separately, you just kind of ooh, drag it down. Not, not that way. Yeah, move it out on click. And so we're going to preview that. So it's going to move out separately. And we're going to see. That didn't work. Move out. Yeah, the move ins need to be together. Right. right. Move ins need to be together and then the other move ones yeah. separately. There they go in. That one goes and then the logo goes after. With the next yeah. arrow key. Cool. So you can do it either way. Yep. All right. So that's all right. kind of that's, Hopefully you guys that's really learned all something. They, that's really all they need to do to create the animation. And then the next video you do, you're going to show them how to use this with the ATEM, ATEM Mini, Mini Pro. Pro. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you all. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications.